The Sunday School lesson for April 30th, 2023 is Jesus Makes a Promise, Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. To the viewers and subscribers, welcome to my channel, The Backstory. I am Audrey. Thank you so much for being here today. If you are new, the agenda is as follows. I will share the backstory, read the lesson text, offer a brief lesson summary. Now, the YouTube algorithm has not been very kind to me, so please give me a thumbs up or subscribe and share my channel with others. Thank you so much in advance as we try to grow my channel one viewer and one subscriber at a time. Thank you. The backstory. Let's begin. Luke was a physician and companion of Paul. He was the only Gentile to author a book in the Bible. Both the book of Luke and Acts are addressed to a man called Theophilus. Because of the honorific used in addressing him, most excellent, some conclude that Theophilus was a Roman official, possibly one involved in Paul's first trial before Caesar. Luke wrote his gospel based on careful research since he was not an eyewitness to Jesus' ministry. In writing Acts, however, he recorded much that he witnessed firsthand. Here is some interesting information about the book of Acts. Jerusalem. The church established its roots in Jerusalem. Chapter 1 through verses 1 through chapter 7, verse 60. So the word of God spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly. Judea and Samaria. Persecution moved the church into surrounding areas. Chapter 8, verse 1 through chapter 12, verse 25. Peter and John returned to Jerusalem, preaching the gospel in many Samaritan villages. Ends of the earth. Missionaries established churches throughout the empire. Chapter 13, verse 1 through chapter 28, verse 31. All the Jews and Greeks who lived in the province of Asia heard the word of the Lord. This is a list of some visions in Acts with supporting scriptures. Paul's vision of Christ on the road to Damascus, Cornelius' vision to invite Peter to Caesarea, Paul's vision to minister in Macedonia, Ananias' vision to minister to Paul, Peter's vision to eat unclean animals, meaning he should accept the Gentiles, Paul's vision that God will be with him in Corinth, and Paul's vision that he must testify in Rome. Verses 1 through 2. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day he was taken up to heaven. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. Verse 3. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. Verse 4. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. Verse 5, for John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Verse 6, then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? Verse 7, he said to them, it is not for you to know the times or dates. The Father has set 
by his own authority. Verse 8, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Verse 9, after he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. Verse 10, they were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Verse 11, men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? The same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. The gospel of Luke was about all that Jesus began to do and to teach. It set the stage for more to come. Jesus' continuing work would come through the apostles he had chosen as they were directed by the Holy Spirit. The apostles had to be utterly convinced that Jesus had overcome death. So, over a period of 40 days, Jesus offered the many convincing proofs they needed. The subject of those post-resurrection teaching appearances was the kingdom of God. Jesus had appeared to his disciples in Jerusalem immediately following his resurrection, John chapter 20, verse 19. But some of the following 40 days were spent in Galilee as well, Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20, and John chapter 21, verses 1 through 3. As this preparation period drew to a close, Jesus ordered them to stay in Jerusalem and wait for the gift my father promised. John the Baptist administered baptism by water as a pledge of repentance by the participant, but only Jesus can immerse or baptize people with or in the Holy Spirit. Renewal must accompany forgiveness. Even after this time, the apostles retained the belief that God's kingdom would consist of Jesus ruling over Israel. Jesus responded to the apostles' question by telling them that information about God's timetable was not meant for them. Those who would usher in the kingdom of God with him would not do so by driving occupying forces out. They would do so by bringing all nations in. With his final words, a cloud of glory received Jesus from their sight, as was the case in the Old Testament and at Jesus' transfiguration. The cloud represented God's presence, Exodus 40, 34, and Mark 9, verse 7. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, help this channel to grow one subscriber and one viewer at a time. Thank you. Stay safe and join me soon for the next backstory.